Caterpillar, or Cat. This is one brand name I never thought I would see on this channel, but here it is. Let's check out the Cat S50 Rugged Smartphone. Yep, the same people who brought you bulldozers and excavators have apparently been making phones as well for the last few years. First things first, let's check out what's inside the box. Obviously, you get the phone, some documentation, a micro USB cable, and charging adapter. Pretty standard stuff. Moving on to the phone itself, it has an overall octagonal shape measuring 144.5 millimeters tall, 77 millimeters wide, and 12.7 millimeters thick. Obviously, the phone is a lot thicker than your average flagship, but that's because it's supposed to be more durable and rugged, but more on that later. Up front, you'll find the earphone speaker, microphone, and the screen. On the right-hand side, you have the cover for the SD card and SIM card, volume up, camera button, volume down. On the bottom, nothing. On the left-hand side, we have the USB cover and the power button. Up top, there is also a covered headphone port. Now, all four corners are covered in a hard rubber material. And finally, on the back, we have the noise cancelling mic, camera, LED flash, a cat logo, and finally, the speaker. And just so that we're clear, the Cat S50 isn't meant as a flagship competitor. But with that said, here are its specs. A Qualcomm MSM8926 quad-core CPU clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of storage with micro SD expansion up to 64 gigs, a 4.7 inch IPS 720p display with Gorilla Glass 3, a 2630 milliamp hour non removable battery, an 8 megapixel rear camera, a VGA front camera, Bluetooth 4.0, support for Wi Fi B, G, and N, NFC, Qi charging, and it runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat. The S50 has an ingress protection rating of IP67, meaning it's dustproof and waterproof to a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes or less. Obviously, for this to work, you'll want to have all the port covers closed so nothing seeps in. The Cat S50 is also rated as shock and drop category 4 in the military standard 810G. Now, I really have no idea what this standard means as a quick Google search didn't really break down the exact criteria of the tests, but it will survive a drop test at 4 feet. The operating temperature for the S50 is negative 25 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Now that's negative 13 Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you out there who don't use Celsius. So you could be trapped in an avalanche on a mountain or be lost wandering around Death Valley. The phone would probably make it out alive before you did. Overall usage. As a daily driver, the S50 is well average. The battery lasted roughly a full day and the photos that were taken with the rear camera lacked a certain pizzazz. And the front facing camera is definitely not worth writing home about. And you remember that camera button I mentioned earlier? Well, on our unit it doesn't actually function properly. It does however act as a wake button. See? And if you do hold it down for two seconds it does activate the flashlight mode. So it's not a complete bust. Now let's move on to media consumption. For videos, it does alright. The colors are nice, something that we've come to expect with an IPS screen, but the speakers, or in this case, speaker, that's a different story. We all know my pet peeve when it comes to speaker placement on phones. The speaker is placed on the back of the phone, and it's mediocre. Even with their Waves Max Audio Audio technology, it makes no difference in boosting the max volume. The speakers need to be louder. Not because I'm a media consumption nerd, but say if you're a construction worker, chances are the environment you are in can be super loud. There might be excavators demolishing a building or jackhammers separating pavement, things like that. I would love to see Cat approve upon that. But I will give Cat some credit here. For the selection of stock ringtones, they did manage to slip in three different ringtones. Two of them were truck backup warnings, you know, the beeping sound they make that when they back up, like beep, beep. Beep. Anyways, and they also added in some sort of diesel truck starting up. I found it highly amazing, so Cat, you get a bonus point there. Now, if you recall, the phone is still running Android KitKat, so you don't get none of the material design one would find in a lollipop setup. And that reminds me, Cat actually has preloaded some specific Cat branded apps onto the S50. It's not bloatware though, don't worry. To be honest, most of them aren't even apps. They're more along the lines of shortcuts to various Cat websites that are mobile device friendly. Shortcuts to Cat rentals, Cat phones, used Cat vehicles and parts, and Cat.com. 
Okay, so there are two actual apps. The first one is a dedicated app store app that offers hand-picked collection of rugged or outdoorsy types of apps. And the second app was, believe it or not, a shark tracking tool called Shark Tracker. I guess this plays into the fact that Cat does have their fingers in a little bit of everything. So if you ever wanted to know where Einstein the Hammerhead Shark is, you can ping its tracker and see its last known location. So, conclusion time. Who is the Cat S54? Well, if you're someone who's a bit clumsy with their phone and doesn't want to buy external protective case for the phone, the S50 has got you covered there. We've dropped it down a bunch of stairs, thrown it inside the studio, outside of the studio, and the phone pretty much is still intact save for a few scuffs here and there. Small scuffs, really. It's even great for people who maybe work on a boat or near water. We dunked it in the bathroom sink and the S50 still works. Speaking of water, the S50 is advertised as being able to use with wet fingers, but I think that might be an older feature because both my Xperia Z2 and Keys' Optimus G phone work with wet fingers, so... I don't know. But I digress, the S50 phone is a no-nonsense rugged phone for people who just need something a bit more durable. The phone is listed on Cat's website for $460, and with the exchange rates being extremely stupid, it's about $580 Canadian on NCIX's website. Would I recommend it to people who need durability in a phone? Yes. Whether you're snowboarding or sand surfing, the phone will be able to handle it. Now would I recommend the S50 for people who want durability and performance? Honestly, no. The overall experience on the S50 does feel a bit last gen. If it's performance that you're looking for, you're better off buying an actual flagship and slapping on a ballistics case or an otter box like Keys does on his Optimus G. So there you have it, the Cat S50 smartphone. If you're interested in the phone, you can click here or down in the description. Leave a comment down below. Are you the type of person who's willing to sacrifice a few bells and whistles to have something that, that's a bit more rugged? But anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.